What is a cornucopia? From myth to symbol. A cornucopia, also called a horn of plenty, is a horn-shaped object overflowing with nuts, gourds, fruits, and vegetables. It is usually made of wicker, but can be made of anything. Sometimes it's actual horn or even bread. In Latin, cornu means horn and copia means abundance. Where does it come from? The concept of a cornucopia originated in Greece. There are different myths about the very first cornucopia. One is that the god Zeus created an overflowing horn to honor the nymph that cared for him. Another is that Hercules ripped off the horn of a river god. Regardless of which myth was the first one, the idea of a horn overflowing with the year's harvest stuck around. Famous cornucopias. The symbol of the cornucopia is used in many important things around the world. In the USA, the state flag of Idaho has two cornucopias. And the seal of North Carolina also has this harvest time symbol. In Britain, there is a yearly festival called Cornucopia. Why wicker? Though the first cornucopia was said to be a real horn, it's very common now to use a wicker basket. This is because wicker baskets were worn when gathering the harvest. They were usually horn-shaped and could be slung around the body to allow the harvester to have both hands while working. But cornucopias don't have to be made of wicker. They can be any horn-shaped object that is stuffed with fall-time foods. Bakers will sometimes make large cornucopias out of bread. You might also find glass or ceramic ones for decoration. Whatever it is made of, the cornucopia has come to be an important symbol for fall and harvest time. What does it show? Fall is when many foods become ripe and are ready to be picked. Lots of feasts happen in the fall season. However, it is also a time to prepare for winter. Many of the foods that are being picked in the fall can be canned, dried, or somehow stored for winter. In winter, there is often not as much food because many plants are sleeping or dead. The cornucopia is a symbol that shows how lucky the family is to have enough food for winter. It shows that they are blessed and grateful to be overflowing with so much food. It also shows that they wish to share their food with others. Long ago, cornucopias were often the centerpiece of many feasts. Now, we mostly just see them around Thanksgiving time. Why Thanksgiving? The cornucopia is now a symbol of American Thanksgiving. To understand why this is, we must first learn more about Thanksgiving. The very first Thanksgiving was in November of 1621. The pilgrims, some of the first Western people to settle in North America, wanted to thank the Native Americans who taught them a lot about farming. Without this help, the pilgrims would not have had enough food for the winter. So, at harvest time, they prepared a large feast for the Native Americans. However, there was probably not a cornucopia at this meal. It was not until 1863 that Thanksgiving became a national holiday in the United States, but the holiday became truly popular in 1941. It was around this time that people started to adopt many of the traditions we still see today. The cornucopia, which had always been a part of fall feasts, was a natural addition to this fall holiday dinner. Do you have a cornucopia at your Thanksgiving dinner? Tell me about it in the comments below. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you would like more videos like this. Teachers and parents, you can head on over to my website, www.amessyclassroom.com for more educational resources. Thank you, and don't forget to get messy and make lots of mistakes today.